Today I'm going to cover this little monster. This is a very highly spec single socket 8 build which I've built up over the last few years. I'll start off by discussing the various components that comprise the machine, run a few benchmarks and then finally demonstrate a few games to you. Here's what the inside of this machine looks and sounds like while it's running. That's the sound of two 15,000 RPM SCSI drives spinning. The system is built around a Chaintech CT61TM socket 8 motherboard into which I've slotted a Pentium 2 overdrive running at 333 MHz. The 2D graphics are handled by a Matrox Millennium 2 8 MB PCI graphics card which I've slotted into the first PCI slot. The second two PCI slots are populated by two Canopus Pure 3D 2s which handle the 3D graphics. The fourth PCI slot is populated by an ICP GDT 6113RS Ultra 160 RAID PCI card which handles the system's drives which are two 15,000 RPM drives running in RAID 0. The second ISA slot is populated by a 3Com Ethernet 3 ISA network card which gives me 10 megabits Ethernet. And finally, the second last ISA slot is populated by a Creative AWE64 Gold, which handles all the sound. Speaking of hard drives, the system is equipped with two Hitachi Ultrastar 15K73 36GB SCSI drives running at 15,000 RPM. Each of these drives has a maximum throughput of 79 megabytes per second, and they're running in a RAID 0 configuration. I'm going to get things started by showing you the Canopus Pure 3D2's driver. This is the control panel for the Canopus Pure 3D2s and as you can see there's a control for the TV output on these cards. In the advanced options you can see that SLI is engaged. Next I'll open up CPU-Z just to show you how the system appears to CPU-Z. According to CPU-Z, the system is fitted with a Pentium 2 overdrive running at 332 MHz, so it's 1 MHz slower than the 333 that it's supposed to be running at. The CPU is fitted with 512 kilobytes of level 2 cache, and the motherboard was manufactured by Chaintech. The system is fitted with 192 MB of EDO RAM with the following timings. and the 2D graphics are handled by a Matrox PCI card. Next I'll run a quick blender test in order to gauge the CPU performance. The system managed to render test.blend in 28 minutes, 58 seconds and 49 split seconds. This is how this machine compares to some of my other machines and as you can see it falls just behind the dual Pentium Pro. Next I'll run the Atto Disk benchmark in order to show you the system's drive performance. This result shows that the system's drive is pretty fast and it's also pretty consistent when it comes to both its read and write speeds. Next up I'm going to run the SAF benchmark. This particular version of the benchmark has been custom built to run with the Voodoo 2 graphics cards so it's not running optimally as it's only running with 16-bit color but at least it runs on this machine.
Now I'm quickly going to navigate to the result. The machine scored a result of 3,525 points with an average frames per second of 32.8 frames per second at a resolution of 800 by 600. Now on to some games. I'm going to start off by demonstrating Doom 95 to you. Through this launch I'm able to run both Doom 1 and Doom 2. I'm going to be running the game in a resolution of 640x480 in a full screen mode. And this is my custom key configuration. Next I'm going to demonstrate Hexen 95. Using this launcher I can launch Hexen, its expansion pack as well as Heretic. Next I'm going to demonstrate the Win32 bit version of Duke Nukem 3D.
next I'm going to demonstrate Quake 3 Arena. I'm going to be making use of these settings. Ranger. And lastly, I'm going to demonstrate Unreal. Prisoners 8, 4, 9.
so this is a pretty snappy little machine, all considered. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks very much for watching.